What's going on everybody? Z here. Welcome back to another Ash your Quick Tips Basics video. So, we're going to be going over graphite and ammonium in this episode. Oh yes, we are. These two guys right here. These like to play hard to get. Graphite, I would say more so than ammonium. Because ammonium, there's it, usually you can find a little bit quicker than graphite. So, chances are if you're looking for graphite or ammonium, if you're looking for ammonium, you're trying probably to get off planet or you're trying to make hydrazine for some reason. But um, I would recommend a tractor and a trailer. I would at least recommend some kind of transportation. This guy is super handy, and I feel like by the time you're looking for this, you probably already have this. If you don't, uh, you could tether, you could make, uh, you can make oxygenators, oxygen filters if you want to, but I recommend some kind of vehicle that can give you an oxygen source because you're gonna be out and you're gonna have to go out and look for it. So. Uh, you can, I'm going to start off by saying you can get graphite and ammonium through the soil centrifuge. However, ammonium for one is two canisters full, which is, it's a lot. And graphite, you get two for two canisters. So depending on how bad you need it and depending on where you're at in the game, uh, this is more of a beginners. You're on Silva and you can't get to another planet yet. If you can get to another planet, Glacio has a graphite and ammonium all over the surface. Uh, maybe not all over, but that's definitely the place to collect it. So uh, we're going to start off with ammonium. Now, I actually have an ammonium deposit right here. However, this isn't the prime example of it. This kind of a weird little spawn. So I want to tell you and show you where you're actually going to look for it. So you're going to want to look for this stuff in this kind of a biome area. It's like the purpley bluish hills with the trees. This is where graphite is, or not graphite, ammonium is typically found. So I threw a beacon up over here because I already found it and I want to make sure that I knew where it was before we even started. But this is typically where you're going to find all of your ammonium. Now, ammonium can be, you can get a lot of it. So this area right here, there's a deposit right here and a deposit right here. So this is going to be a fairly lucrative spot to get ammonium. It's, it's very easy to collect. Um, you get quite a bit from each little each little node of it, so you can get you can get a fair amount just from a couple deposits, and this is great for the beginning. But once you start getting into jetpacks and hydrazine and needing hydrazine a lot, you're going to want to go to Glacio, and that'll be in a future video of uh, I might make a like a planetary breakdown kind of thing. But this is a fantastic way to get the ammonium in the beginning. You're gonna find this little purpley hill area. Um, not everyone will have it. Some of them might have more than others. You might have to go from spot to spot to try to find them. But this is always where I get my ammonium on Silva. It's always in these little biomes where the trees are. The soil is like the blue and the, the purpley. That's a great place to look. Basically, I usually just skirt the edges and uh, I just look into the trees and see if I can find it. If I can, awesome. If I can't, then I move on to the next one. I just usually go around like the whole little, little island of trees. But... Let's talk about graphite. Graphite is interesting. On Silva, it has the only the the only places I ever seem to find it are specifically next to mountain areas. Now, not necessarily in the mountain area, the hard the hard gray with the snow on the top or whatever. Um, not necessarily in here, but usually on the hills leading up to it. So it has kind of a small area to spawn. Now, uh, actually, let's see if we can find an example. Some of them, there's, there's, it likes to play hard to get. And the reason I say that is because you might be going around finding, looking for it, and you might actually find one teeny tiny thing of it. Um, I was trying to see if there's any on here, but I'm not seeing any. You might find one little thing of graphite, and it's just, it's going to be by itself, and it's going to be alone, and there's not going to be any other ones around it and it's super annoying because that happens a lot but i have found a spot over here and this is kind of the typical location of where i will look to try to find it without using the solar centrifuge or going to glacio so right here is a classic case of the graphite deposit this is typically how you will find it right on the edge about to go into a mountain area but still in a nice soft soily area and typically this is where it's at now you might find a whole bunch underneath it or you might not find a lot at all they 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 vary greatly 
So uh, this one is actually looking like I'm not going to find very much. Um, I do like to expand out, make sure that I'm collecting everything I can because sometimes the, the deposits like to, to run, you know, different directions and stuff. But this one, not a good example. I got one graphite off of that guy. So we'll go ahead and pick up a beacon. Not a very good spot indeed, but that's typically where I'll find it. So. Uh, we could continue. Let's actually keep going a little bit. Let's see if there's any more around this area. This is typically the area that I'll find them in. Not, necess not necessarily up here. Sometimes they are up there. I don't want to say that they're not because sometimes they are. But typically it's like right here, low mountain area is where you're going to find your easy graphite, I guess you could say. All right. I think I found an example of the ones that like to play that just like to tease you right here. There's one piece of graphite here. Do you think there's more underneath this? Probably not. Probably nowhere to be seen. Exactly. There's no, oh, 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 there's one. We got, we found a little bit more, but yeah, um, not, not easy to get at all. Actually, this one's not looking too terrible. The only problem is that it's in a harder soil. So you'd have to have a drill mod if you want. Well, you don't have to have a drill mod, but if you want to collect a little bit quicker, this would be um, a lot faster on with a drill mod for sure. But uh, yeah, this is actually, actually, this is a decent little deposit. It's not terrible, not terrible by any means. All right, so we're good. We need some oxygen. Um, let's see. I wanted to see if there's any other ones around here. They kind of, like, like I said, they like to like this area right here is always a, a decent spot for graphite to spawn. And you can usually find it in the softer soil too. I don't see any though. So we're back. We made it. Wonderful, wonderful. We have some graphite. We have some ammonium. So like I said before, chances are ammonium. The first time you're trying to find it, you are trying to make yourself a thruster to get off the planet. A solid fuel thruster. One aluminum, one ammonium. That's what you're going to be probably trying to find it for. Graphite, on the other hand, you might be trying to make a repackager or uh, some graphene or something. I'm not exactly sure. Graphene, you would need hydrazine, so you need ammonium for that anyways. But um. If you want to find lots of these, Glacio is the place to go, but you can find them on the planet. You can find them here. They are here. You can get them in the solar centrifuge, and that might be the best way early on, especially graphite. Graphite, probably make yourself a quarry, have fun, go at it, do the things, all the stuff. But um, this will we'll cover graphite and ammonium again in another episode once we go to Glacio and once we do the, the Glacio kind of stuff. But um, yes, hopefully this helped you. Hopefully you're enjoying. If you guys are enjoying these videos, uh, hopefully I'm helping just to do the little quick how to's and get you the information you need super quick, super easy. Um, but yes, thank you guys for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.